in 15 minutes house video. This is not a tutorial, this is just a presentation of LiveFCAD plugin for Cinema 4D and in this video I'll show you how to use this plugin to create a house like this within 15 minutes. So let's begin. We start creating base floor using box tool and uh, non-destructive booleans. Second box uh, has to be attached as a child to first box and using add booleans it is unified. Also third box attach to previous as a child and use booleans. Finally convert into uh, mesh. Next step is to create a base wall with the wall tool. Link to base floor plan, automatic link and create wall by outlining the base floor plan. It's a very easy and fast way. Then using floor tool, attach floor to existing wall. And again, using the wall tool, outlining the first floor. Very useful is uh, the angle snap, which can be triggered automatically with holding control key. And it will align into corners. And again, floor tool with offset 50 centimeters, we have a roof now and attach roof automatic roof and finally attach the shingles it is very important to keep all objects properly organized and properly named that helps to to to, to have a much faster orientation through the scene and objects also very important is to convert all parametric objects which which you don't need to be parametric anymore to to mesh which is which is way much faster to to render to to manipulate and everything also uh, it's better to convert walls uh, into uh, live with kid object if you want to add more uh, windows Now let's add windows. Uh, placing windows on the walls is very simple. Just activate window object, click on the wall and uh, window is automatically linked to the clicked wall and you can adjust that window very easily. Uh, parametric windows uh, are very easy to uh, adjust. You can set materials for frame, for glass, you can set the divisions uh, you can enable disable glass and various parameters of uh, frames, outer frame, inner frame. Uh, very useful is to use the fix, uh, fix mode. So you fix the size of the window and you replicate the, the same sized window on, uh, on the next place. Also very useful is uh, corner mode. So if you disable edge and enable corner of the edge of the window, uh, you can very easily create the corner windows this way. So as you can see with several clicks, you, you create a lot of variations of parametric windows and you can still edit them. Go back to window and uh, edit them. On the first floor, uh, you can see um, if you use also the grid snapping, uh, you can place new created windows very precisely and very quickly. So here we are on the final corner windows, again uh, uh, using corner mode, disable edge, enable corner, and uh, the corner window is created uh, very precisely. So as you can see, we're using parametric window is very quick and very easy. On this side of the building, we, we will create another type of the windows without glass, without inner framing, just outer frames. So disable divisions, disable glass, 
and um, also we can change the top shape of the window as you can see uh, this way uh, you you have a lot of possibilities a lot of combinations you can create a parametric window very easily with current set of uh, parameters uh, these two will be will be updated in next version with even more flexibility but even current version is uh, highly flexible and you can you can create a lot of different windows with a couple of clicks. Now let's try to triangle shape of the window, triangle top of the window. So as you can see, very easy to apply, very easy to adjust. Next step is to slice walls. First you have to select walls, which you are going to edit. And then using rectangle cut tool with using automatic UCS grid on grid snapping uh, on uh, you can very easily uh, place the cut rectangle cut tool on uh, on the place where you want to create cut and very easily divide the polygons cutting tools are very flexible you can slice subtract or intersect geometry uh, also you can do it in 2d or 3d mode currently using 2d mode it means that now we are slicing only only polygons which are lying uh, on the ucs workplane on actual ucs workplane so if you're using automatic ucs plane with all the snapping settings you can very easily click on the plane or polygon and slice only those actual polygons which you need directly in perspective viewport. In the next step, we have to select first all the objects which we are going to put new UV map and material and uh, create polygonal sub selection of all the selected objects. So, uh, very quickly, we need to select all the polygons which we are going to place the uh, uh, brick surface material and brick uh, set the brick uh, uv mapping uh, this this part of the this selection is the most uh, time consuming part because we have to select all these polygons manually there is no faster way you have to do this uh, manually, each each polygon by each polygon. And after we select all the polygons, uh, then we can very quickly use the rectangle UV map tool, which will place the new surface and also new UV map. And uh, you can adjust surface size using project uh, mode, uh, back projection mode and very quickly just using preset uh, size of the uv map from one side of the building everything properly aligned and second side of the building also everything properly aligned and uh, that's it uv mapping is done now we place wood floor uv mapping and material first we have to hide uh, some uh, walls and uh, now using only base and first floor object again rectangle uv mapping tool we put the uh, wood material and wood uv mapping with polygon uh, mode so this means just only clicked polygon or polygon under first click uh, is modified now and very quickly we create UV mapping. As a next step, we will create uh, the inside house staircase or stair object. Uh, using rectangle stair object is very easy, just create object, adjust properly handles, fit height to the, to the top floor and it's done. Uh, now select the uh, first floor uh, first floor object and use rectangle to rectangle cut tool 
Now with using uh, subtract mode, it will drill a hole in the first floor. Uh, use wall tool to add additional wall around the stair object and uh, again uh, adjust the height to the top four. Very easy. Some polygons are still not UV mapped uh, without uh, materials, so for these missing, uh, it's uh, easiest to use a rectangle UV mapper tool, which will put material also uh, UV map together with material. Uh, easy way, just clicking, adjust uh, position, and uh, it's done. So this way, you can quickly finalize UV mapping. Now just bottom roof is missing and it's done. Finally, uh, I'll show you how to use the, uh, how easily you can use the railing tool. You can use uh, the presets or you can adjust uh, the parameters of this tool to generate a lot of combinations of uh, different uh, railings. Uh, now uh, hide the first floor and we can add railing also here on uh, this uh, staircase hole uh, using let's say this type of the railing you can adjust all the parameters real time uh, you can see immediately the results it's very easy tool to use and a very productive and effective. You get uh, realistic results uh, really fast with a couple of clicks. So now here we just adjust the offset and using this type of railings and finalize final railing of this house. So as you can see uh, also a really fast and easy tool to use with uh, excellent results and here is the result so you can create the house like this within a couple of minutes with a uh, lightwavecat plugin tool for cinema more information on lightwavecat.com thank you for watching